Hey, it's Jason here. Just wanted to do a review on some uh, sunglasses that I just bought. Um, Transformers, more than meets the eye from Knockaround. Um, they're officially licensed. The glasses were $35, which, I mean, it's not the cheapest, but it's not nearly as expensive as some. They're uh, polarized, UV 400. They, uh, come in this nifty little bag. I think it's pretty cool. It, it feels the texture. I like the texture of the bag, but it's got a Optimus Prime vehicle mode. Optimus Prime transformed robot mode. A um, little drawstring on it. A little tag that says knock around. I haven't worn them a whole lot. I just got them a couple days ago. I think I've worn them once maybe they seem fine they do their job um, you can see my ring light there uh, just got that as well see the display does knock around Op Autobot symbol it's kind of like a little bit of try uh, trying prime design Optimus prime design the other side's pretty much the same thing. Got the gray, blue, the coloring's pretty cool. Uh, it has, I don't know if you can see it very well, it's got a little Autobot symbol etched in the corner here on the glass, on the, on the lens. Well, probably won't focus very well as well as it is. Um, they fit nice. Try to keep the ring light out of there. Um, although obviously you can get the the reflective more than more than some of the black ones. So uh, I'll add in the description from the website about as far as what some of the specifics of the lenses are besides the polarized and UV four hundred. Um, I think they look pretty good. You can kind of see the size. They're more of a nostalgia transformer fan kind of thing. Um, whether or not you'd want to wear them or not, you know, that's up to you. They, they feel nice though. Um, of course I just went to the eye doctor and I might have to get glasses, not my far sight sighted vision is okay it's more of my near sight like reading so i got some like progressive lenses far sighted it's i'm like 20 20 and 20 25 so it's not that bad but uh i definitely didn't want to just buy new sunglasses and then have to wear glasses all the time but uh, luckily my vision's still fine so i could probably just wear the glasses at night or if i'm going to be reading stuff up close that kind of thing so i'll try and take advantage of the sunglasses still um, beyond that, I don't know, I would recommend them, especially if you're a Transformers fan. They're different, that's a lot of the reason why I buy some things, is they're different than all the standard stuff that you got out there. Um, Knock Around also makes other limited editions, Shark Week glasses every year, I guess they sell out, they got little sharks, they have been different every year from what I could see, they're still listed on the website. Um, but I don't know, check out their website, knockaround.com. I'm not, they're not sponsoring me or anything. I just wanted to do a video. Okay, you may not have uh, seen both of these glasses together, but I'm gonna do a little comparison to show you the difference. Um, I have the G.I. Joe one on top, the uh, Transformers pair on the bottom. You can tell the lenses are, uh, this is more of a reflective gold yellow. This is more of a reflective tinted blue sort of color. Um, they both, you can see out of both of them just fine. Um, I did want to point out some differences. The temples, which are the side pieces from, from the hinge back. Um, you can see the thickness of the Optimus Transformers one. It's, it is a lot thicker. Um, 
So I don't know if that makes a difference to you. The GI Joe is a thinner, streamlined one. Um, just part of their different designs. Um, from the front, I think they actually look fairly similar. From what I can tell, the frame itself is, uh, the nose and bridge and all that stuff is fairly similar. They are shaped a little different when I look at them. Um, one other difference I noticed, they're fairly close to being the exact same width all the way across, um, hinge to hinge type of thing. Um, might be a slight advantage to the Transformers, but they are pretty close. They're similar designs um, when you look at them from the front as well. There's a slight difference, but it's not like super drastic. I'll say one other difference. The hinge on this is just a straight hinge, so once it reaches the edge, you know, the whole frame starts to bend if you pull it out. And these have the spring hinges, the transformers, that's probably why it costs more also. They have the spring hinges, so if you look at it, it bends, you know, it closes this way, and then when it reaches, it springs and kind of locks in a little bit here from the tension, and then you can still bend it out more at the actual hinge. So these have the spring hinges to accommodate for a bigger head, I guess. <laughs> Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know, the usual, it'll help me out. Uh, I want to do more contests for you guys. I've started doing some contests. I want to give away more stuff. I know this stuff's not necessarily collectible. It is, I mean, I can collect glasses. I can collect about anything. Mugs, uh, face masks. Um, but uh, I thought because they were, uh, these, these videos that I'm doing now are, they're related to like something that's fairly pop culture-y uh, with Transformers and G.I. Joe. A lot of people my age grew up with, with those cartoons. Um, so, you know, please like, share, subscribe, help me out if you can. And uh, until next time.